Can we just talk about how I have such a baby face in this suit of armor? Because I really do. Oh man. I wanted to rob his place. <gasps> he left a mini metal out here the whole damn time? What a fool. Of course someone's gonna steal it. Someone named the Hansel. Alright, well. Time to go back to the mermaid then. Wait, right? Turn to the strand and give you. Yep, alright. That's what magical powers are for after all. Oh my god, I need to just go to the next page off the bat. Either a 10 year old boy or a 16 year old girl. I feel like that's the problem some people have when they hear someone talk on a video game. And they're like, is that a young boy or a female? I see it happen all the time. I've come, I've actually had that happen to me plenty of times, even on stream. When we used to take callers, I used to mix up genders all the goddamn time. Your boy is fucking dumb. That's what I'm trying to say. <gasps> Another mini metal, guys. Shit. Alright. It's time to break a heart. What's up? Hello again, my friend. I am so, so happy you've returned. It's been so long since you went off. I got a bit concerned. Well, it has been a week, so I apologize. I worried that your ship had sunk or Kai had gone away. That's why I'm singing happy songs to keep my tears at bay. All right, she rhymes. But you don't need to know that. Seriously, shut up, Shell. The only thing that ha matters now is that you're safe and well. So tell me, did you find Kai? Is he... As well as ever, is he on his way to meet me here so we can be together? Lie to Michelle and tell her that Kai is coming to meet her here? Sure. Wait, uh, chat. Is this one of those things where, like, if I lie, I, I, I just do it again anyway so I can just see the dialogue, or... Is it not? The choice matters? Okay, let's not lie, because that'd be fucked up. Do not lie. Hansel tells Michelle the truth. My Kai is dead? That can't be true! I don't believe a word! It's ludicrous, ridiculous, preposterous, absurd! Hold on a minute. What's that thing you're holding in your hand? A net of pearls and seashells on a pretty coral band? Hansel gives Michelle the lover's veil. You say my Kai made this veil to wear when we were wet, but clutched it as he passed away. You're saying that he's... dead? No! Please no! It can't be so! I know he'd never make break that promise he made to me. There must be some mistake. How can my Kai pass... Wait, wait, how can my Kai have passed away? I nursed him back to health. I simply won't believe it. Till I found out for myself. I need to meet the Kai you've met, and hear it from him straight. Wait, wait. Hear it straight from him. Take me to Lona Lulu. You can sail and I can swim. What's that? Why don't I come aboard? Oh, thanks. You're very kind. But there's a lot to think about. I'll follow on behind. Okay. It's... This is... Girl, he's dead. He's dead forever. Wait, why don't I just... Well, we gotta sail there. Because it's plot. You know, like, we can't just not sail there. If we magically teleport there, she's not gonna be able to follow us. If the locals see a mermaid, it'll fill their hearts with fear. I'll hide on this abandoned beach and wait for Kai right here. I'm sorry to keep asking, but this is my final plea. Would you please find that man you met and bring him back to me? Okay, we magically teleported anyway. That's pretty sweet. Hold on a second. Is this his graveyard? Or gravestone? I bet this is gonna be his gravestone. Oh shit. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh wait. He's he's he went back. Okay. Hold on. I'm cut. Hold on, mermaid. Forgot he went home or whatever. By the way, uh, Chathonicon. I don't get is he dead or not. Uh, the grandpa of his was the one who she was with, but I'm guessing mermaids live for a long time, so she kind of doesn't realize that. So, yeah, grandpa's dead. We're, the guy right now is just named after him because you know, name is person after the grandparent. It happens. It's happened plenty of time. Probably gonna happen tomorrow. Somebody's gonna be named something that their grandparent was named after. I'm coming, Kai. Speaking of, I should probably look in his house. See this shit. Hey on, Kai. I know you're, you're having a very somber moment. What? It's really weird. Like, I feel like, yeah, my controller's like, sometimes not responding. That's really strange. It has not done that before. Okay, I think we're good now. It's just an RPG, so it's not a huge deal. <gasps> Treasure Huntering! This is the Journal of Pseudo Nim. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. I came to this village after catching wind of a rumor that a schooner carrying that rainbow was wrecked somewhere in Erdria's southern seas. In exchange for a couple of my best maps and charts, I enlisted the aid of the finest fishermen here. We dredged near the whole blessed ocean, but all we came back with was a few tasty scallops for tea. Wait, you put scallops in tea? Seriously? Is that, a, is that like a real thing or just the video game thing? Because that sounds strange. So I've been spending a quiet evening in the bar enjoying our tasty catch. The village's local brew and the company of the landlord's beautiful daughter. She tells me that my friend the fisherman is engaged to be married. He doesn't seem too keen on the arrangement though. I shouldn't be surprised if he turned out to have his eye on someone else. But it's late now and growing dark. I may not have found the rainbow. I've had a lovely day and met some even lovelier people. Ah, the traveler's life suits me down to the ground. Wait, so it is a real thing? That's strange. Hey, uh, come up with me. Hey, what's up, robotic wolf? Thanks for using a great emote there. Uh, so did you give that mermaid the veil? No. Oh, I'm sorry for asking you to do this for me, but if you give it to her, I appreciate it. I gave her the veil. Mahalo. Thanks, friend. Sorry for making you take care of that for me. I should do something for you in return. Fix up your ship. You'll get you some pearls, maybe? Just say the word. Huh? The beach? Well, I mean, you're the boss. Well, if you're sure it's all you want, I guess a promise is a promise. Lead the way. Alright, cool. Excellent. I'm proud of us. We're gonna have some sweet closure. Everyone's gonna live happily ever after. Hell, maybe this Kyle will fall in love with this mermaid and it'll be adorable. Aw, oh, that'd be adorable. But also kinda weird because his grandma or grandpa uh Yeah, that'd be kinda weird. That's like banging his grandma, er, right? Would that be like banging his grandma? Dating his grandma, okay, gotcha. Yeah, that'd be a little strange. A little bit, I guess. Why have you brought me here? to my ears. I feel like I could cry. Oh, darling, tell me, is it you? My one and only Kai? Yeah, I'm Kai. Do I know you?
You're a mermaid. Oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. But he's not here anymore. So, I mean, if you want to see if we could work something out. I knew it! <sighs> my darling Kai. My one true love. The one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore? Oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. Thanks for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend. To trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. I said I would reward you, and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the selfsame island where we met. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way. But now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay. Michelle sings a bewitching melody that reverberates off the cliffs above. But they couldn't afford to get an actual song. Because that's way too much effort. She can do that! Yo, she pulled an Ariel, dude! Didn't even need an Ursula! I waited for you so, so long through sun and stormy weather. But now it's time, at long, long last, we're going to be together. <laughs> and then she starts bashing her head on the gravestone. <laughs> in the brine and that's all right I got to meet my darling one last time oh. if I had been a human or if he had been like me perhaps we could have lived together happy as can be but I'm a mermaid he's a man there's no point asking why he was my one true love, but now it's time to say goodbye. I can't stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course! Grandpa's cabin!
Hey, so can I like go grab that veil real quick? I'm sure I could get like a hundred gold off that. That'd be pretty cool. Can't read it still. Damn. That's sad though. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute, Hansel. Kai seemed pretty upset back there. I know he's not the friendliest person, but I think he probably needs some company right now. Let's check in on him before we head back to the village. Oh. Oh god, I'm an idiot. For some reason, I thought Grandpa's cabin was Kai's house, but that's not. That's not how it works. Don't mind me. Hey, is it this? Oh! Dude, your grandpa was really good at drawing, dude. Hmm. What's this? A letter? This is Grandpa's handwriting. Dearest beloved, ever since you saved me on the day of the great storm, the dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. Would have been nice if she got to read this before she killed herself. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling, but I cannot keep my promise. Some years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm, and many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani, the woman who was once to be my wife. With her father and husband gone, she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief, she could not hear me. Before my disbelieving eyes, she threw herself into the ocean. I tried to save them. I did everything I could, but only the baby survived. to row back home? You're not in any pain? I wish you'd let me keep you till you're fighting fit again. Don't worry about me, Michelle. You fixed me up real good. I'm fitter than ever. Oh, that's a good voice. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good, Kona. got to go. There's things you have to do. Just promise me you'll be back soon. I'll wait right here for you. What if I could respond to that with yes and no? It's all my fault. Holy shit, it's Krillin. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michelle. I... I can't leave. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs me. The villagers say you put a curse on me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. You have to forgive them. They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all, and what they don't know 
they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there on that rock, still waiting for me to return. But it's too late for me now. I'll never make it back there. I'll understand if you can never forgive me, but I want you to know one thing. I love you. I always will. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Without you, I'd never have known all of this. Never met Michelle. All this time, I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather. But now I see how he really felt. He wasn't cursed. He really loved her. No. Painting a beautiful mermaid wearing the lover's veil. Well, of course it's a beautiful mermaid. All mermaids are beautiful. Just like all women are beautiful and all men are handsome. And all dogs are great. Oh, whip Dolly back at it again. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> Some people get obsessed with the whip. I mean, it's delicious, but damn. Sell the painting? Oh man, we could probably make a damn good buck off that painting. <laughs> Big Natalie Arizo, by the way, for 11 months. We're almost a year. I love you, Father. I hope the stream series has been going well. I think it's been going all right. It's very inconsistent in terms of me doing it. But it's nice. Also, just so I'm not being stupid, that baby was, uh, not her, but it was Kai's mom, right? Because I'm pretty sure that's what they said earlier, but I just want to double check. Yeah? Okay. So, I know video games. Alright, we gotta get our special treasure. Sit. Let's see if we can find the mom first. Speaking of... Well, mom might be at Kai's house. Because we went by the church and we didn't see her, so. Double check. Oh, huh, there she is. Kai showed you inside his tutu's cabin, huh? It's been a while since anybody outside of the family's been in there. So, how'd you like my old home? I always thought the place was so lonely and quiet, but my pa he saw something I couldn't. Pictures prove that. Aww. Let's see if we can see them eyebrows. Not nearly as thick as they were when you were a baby, but I get it. Hey, you mask guy. What's up? What's up? Oh, oh we can magically teleport there. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Yeah, she knocks her eyebrows. Holy ship, Dole Whip is dairy free. Is it? That's news to me. Oh shit, thank god nobody came here and took this treasure chest. Which I'll get in just a second. Dole Whip is dairy free? What? That's wild. Alright, after all that, what was our. What was our surprise? Ooh. Lorelai's heart. Hmm. There's a note at the bottom of the chest. Hansel takes it out and begins to read. Dear friend, if you're reading this, it means I've gone away. If what you said to me is true, I don't think I can stay. Thanks for all you've done for me, and please don't feel too sad. After my Kai... You're the kindest friend I've ever had. I promised that I'd take you to the mermaid seabed town. And though I can't come with you now, 
This harp will take you down. You'll find a shining whirlpool far inside the inland sea. Sail over it and strum that harp to meet her majesty. Please tell the queen I'm happy now, and there's no need to cry. I'm finally reunited with my dear, darling Kai. Perhaps one day we'll meet again, but for now, farewell. You'll be my friend until the end. Yours sincerely, Shell. That was cute. I enjoyed that. Uh, before we do what we're supposed to do, I am far too curious. I always fuck with this stuff. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I want to see what's up on the top right area. Because there's a thing hiding all the way up there. I gotta look at it. You understand. Thank you, Mirun, for three months, by the way. Love you, Dad. I hope you're having a good evening so far. I think the evening started looking up once I started streaming. So that was nice. Oh, that was Long Lulu. Okay, I was trying to be like, I don't remember that. It's all good. <gasps> Spooky monsters. Oh my god. Don't worry. Uh, tactics. Uh, tactics. Everyone's following orders. Uh-oh. Oh, oh god, no. Everyone, quickly. Uh, fight wisely. Hansel, follow my orders. But you can show no mercy because you're pretty cool. Okay, good job, everyone. These cats left 33 months. Spent 33 months and I still don't know what to say with these messages. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. It's a silent tremor. Thank you for 30 months. I just want to go home and play video games. Dude, I fucking get that. Oh, sweet. The offhand attack thing really helped out. Another one bites the dust. I think I've just now realized. I don't think I've ever had... A vacation where I came back from the vacation feeling relaxed. I think I've always just got more stressed during the vacation. Has anyone ever had that problem? Or am I just cursed with vacations? That's a common thing, right? I feel like that's a common thing. Holy shit! That's so cool. I'm waiting for the day we get a frickin' uh, double hit. Double crit, I mean. That'll be a nice day. Thanks, Veganator. Means you never went on an actual vacation? Yeah, I guess so. Almost 30 and I've never been on a real vacation before. Shit. I think, okay, I get it now. The one thing that all of my vacations have had in common, the one thing that every single vacation I've ever had has had in common, I went with my family. Maybe if I take out that variable, maybe vacations will be nice and chill. I don't even take out as in like I'm gonna kill my family. I'm not. I'm not gonna kill my family. That's a bit much. But more so just not invite him on the next vacation. I guess. Yeah, I do. Terminate family. Nice. No. no. No terminating of the family just yet. No, no, no never. Oh boy. Alright, whatever. Swords. Uh this one is what I was caring about. Okay, cool. Neat. Thanks. I'll take it. All right, what's the middle one here? Miracle Slash. A mysterious attack that hurts an enemy while healing the user. Oh, that's super cool. Going for that next. 